Alright, welcome back to Remnant 2. We're still in the sewers. Sorry. We're gonna try out our new grenade launcher. with the grenade launcher we're gonna go back to the Stay away from those crates if we can, because there's some sort of. Oh, we may get attacked by red creatures. The problem is, I think the. Same noises as the, the flan thing was playing about. And that's setting me off just a little bit. Possibility. But it didn't happen, and I'm happy. I wonder if there's like a horn.
damn it. Look cool what we picked up. Uh, Drya's inklet. Homemade inklet fashioned for Drya by carefully tuned wind wire twining pieces. Twining wire wires together with pet pliers under dim candlelight. It was meant to be a ring that came out much bigger than intended. Grand marriages are simple, heartless things done only to keep home and shops standing. But some lucky deers find love and understanding, and that's more precious than all the profits in the world. We also picked up a new mutator for our Shoot, we actually need to ammo, transpose, and increase the weapons reload to 5%. Huh. Oh, We've got one more, I think it's one more section to go through, and that's this one up here. So, you know, as, as per usual, the opposite side of the map from where I am. Oh boy. This place gives me the easy ones. It's not actually that big, it's just. I think this might belong to Drya. You! You went back to Drya's. But she, Drya. she... She wasn't... Where is she? I... So... She's gone. Gone. And I... I have to... And I have to... Oh. Thank you, stranger. I couldn't do it myself, but I... I needed to know. Here. It ain't much, but it's all... All I have left. Now, please. I need to be... Alone. And we got the Ring of Grace. A plain but well-fashioned band, though it doesn't look particularly impressive. It, co it costs the weird, wearied drain years of hard work. And just, man, <laughs> excuse me. Meant for someone special, but in her absence, you'll have to do. When you get gaps and tears, when you get gaps and tears in yourself. You got to patch it up with something or someone else. But if they were ever ripped open or torn apart, all that stuff falls right out. Nothing left but frayed edges and scraps of who you were. The kind of hurt that can't never be mended. Taking enemy damage causes 10% maximum health for 10 seconds. Not bad. <laughs> Feel bad for the guy. I'm going to explore the rest of this, uh, uh, but I'm not going to make you guys sit through that, because I think we've seen enough sewer as it is. Um, so, unless I find something really interesting, I'll meet you guys back outside. And we're back. Um, I picked up a new crate, clearing out the sewers. Increases mod power generation with melee damage. Percentage. Alright. We have gone that way, we can go. Up in the state. 
Estate? Yeah, that's the word. Estate. Come on, come on, come on! There's one, so there are okay. only three worlds in the game, not counting the um, the road where we are now, and uh, Yesha will be returned to, but it's been significantly changed the root infestation, plus splatterings of earth levels here and there. They're much bigger maps with more going on. In combat. Or is this a sanitary? Oh shit! What was that? This is a sanitary. Uh. Haunted sanitary. Hospital? Nope, I was right. Sanitary. Fuck crazy people. The games. We have a patient on the loose. Like a tranquilizer. Watch yourself! She's here! Uncle Night Weaver. Night Weaver. Night Weaver. We I know you're here! The Night Weaver. No, I'm not safe here. Uh, Saint Asylum. Let's go check out the attic. Yeah. That's like probably for the best. Yeah, I don't care. Evidences mild changes in patient 183, increased eye activity and heart rate. Still no response to verbal cues of any kind, suggest increasing dose recommended to 48 cc per day. It's patient 47 had me. another fit today, suggest electroshock therapy <laughs> for two days it. after each incident. Reduce drospirol dosage in preparation. Inform Levin of these changes personally. He has been known to forget written instructions. Improper doses and in some cases medications were administered to several patients yesterday. One patient's stomach had to be pumped and we are still uncertain of the long-term effects. This is the third time this month, so Levin has been dismissed. A strict review will occur with the rest of the staff as well. I shall need to establish a stricter regimen for administering medication. Routine and meticulousness are our highest values. Without them, Reformation cannot occur. Even where reformation is already impossible, as may be the case with most of our patients, we must fastidiously record both medications and effects in order to learn from them. We learn from treating helpless patients today may save the next patient tomorrow. I swear, without me, this place would just would really be more than little more than a prison for invalids. The staff included among them. Multiple patients have gone mad. It's a sister. It has been a day of fits and tales and mania. 
bouts of dementia have increased tenfold across all patients, and the isolation wing has been quite rancus, rancus, sorry. Multiple patients are spouting nonsense from exclamations that everything's different to disturbing warnings about monsters in the shadows. Even a few of the catatonic or withdrawn patients exhibited new signs of agitation. Clearly, medications have been switched or worse. I must question the staff thoroughly to find the culprit and make an example of it. I'm both tired and exhilarated. After days of intense interrogation and investigation, the little problem was not improper medication at all. I theorize, rather, that the recent uptick in incidents may be due to some kind of mass hysteria within the asylum. But what could have caused such a thing? I, I have announced a temporary moratorium on all medications as an experiment. Be interested to see where this hysteria leads us. It would appear the hysteria has not been isolated in the asylum. A number of new patients have been admitted exhibiting similar symptoms. Just yesterday, a shoemaker's assistant arrived and claimed he was on a quest to vanquish evil. He is now seeking therapy and taking the experimental Drosopian. Drosopian. Okay. The Noble College of Psychiatry meets now, next week to discuss these occurrences. Alas, that that I have been so focused on my own work that I am unqualified to speak to what is happening among the general populace. But rest assured, I shall be full of my own data and questions. I am ill at ease. I find myself getting upset at the patients for their outbursts, more so than is warranted. No conclusions have been reached, neither here nor in the Noble College. I must document as much as I can, but it is difficult. Staff. They've taken to beating patients who speak out about what they see. That's not it at all. Is there a time where they could? But even I find it difficult to stay my hand. No, I must listen and document. There are a few repeated threads to their ramblings, though it could simply be the nature of mass hysteria, as they interact with each other. Monsters, no. evil no. beings, and one creature in particular they call Night Fever. I must admit their descriptions of the last fable intrigue me. Unclear why. I've seen it. Mustn't tell the staff. No, mustn't. Come in dreams, exactly as patients describe. Could me? I speak with them? Yes. Learn <laughs> learn more. Protect the patient purposes. Must learn more about it. So, something has infected the asylum. I'm guessing it was that shadow we saw in the hallway. And driven everybody completely off their rocker. Have you seen Dr. Morrow? The yeah. doctor's been gone for ages. Hope she's okay. Stone carved dog. Apparently a sculpture, more like a half-forgotten form of from a bad dream. Feels like the artist gave up on it in frustration, unsure what to do next. Dr. Morrow, now she's had a tough life. That doesn't excuse how she treats her patients, of course. Those are still her choices, wherever they have to come from. Dr. Morrow! You can use this for something. Who's this? The Nittens Log. Atlas, Demetrius, Killian Alexander, McGoyle, Christoph, Mies, Danielle, Thompson, Cynthia, Curison, Binyamin, Andresian, Christoph. That's it. Yep. Remember. Can't remember. <laughs> I can't get that door. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Okay. This is it. That's a real bad sign. Think of something. Think of something. Uh. Talk yourself awake. Black room. I think I've looked at this already. And I know. This liquid is contained in small droppers easily accessible during combat and has a bitter taste that lingers in the mouth for a short while after consumption. Doc Nora has got some secret source for her medication, but I'm not going to question it. The men wounds that even our most skilled military doctors would have deemed impossible. More importantly, it's a black room. Oh, we look at the 
it's the same description as in the original. Yep, like so. A sneaking suspicion that this collar is once bound to someone's neck and pried off once it was too late. One needn't understand a thing to use it. Don't need to know how chemical processes to s no chemical process to set something on fire, nor biology to birth a child. That said, my Dran understand a lot more than you think, and that helps tremendously. Increases shock damage for 20 percent and overload damage for 50. She comes, she comes, she comes, she comes, dreams, horrors, dreams, then nothing. Pain, nothing, and fear, and... Yep, this place is in a really bad state. But we kind of knew that from the outset. Especially since the outside was... Drive, that would absolutely drive you crazy, is if you were forced to stay awake to keep dreams away. Nope, that's definitely I wonder if there's like a knight or something I need help. No, no, no. What is it? How'd you get locked in there? Oh. My staff put me in here. I were a common patient. I honestly did not think they were capable. No matter. It's a blessing, really. It gives me time to complete this damned sculpture. What are you sculpting? My very dreams. The night weaver herself. As I sleep and she feeds upon me, I can see her features clear as day. But when I wake, like mist breath in the winter air. I have sculpted several versions now. No, no single sculpture was accurate, but I suspect the gestalt of them might spark my memory. Alas, I... I've lost them all. How long ago? I, I could not even say. I have something of yours. Mine? Is this one of your sculptures? Oh my, yes, thank you, stranger. I will not soon forget this kindness. Those incompetent nurses wrested this from my hands when they tried to silence me. What is the night we That is precisely what I'm trying to ascertain. If you would but leave me to my work. What do you think? Why do you think finding your old sculptures are Elementary okay? psychology, my dear. The same methods we use on our patients. The arts have a, a remarkable way of breaking through our brains. The natural blockades. Why did they lock you in here? I'm sorry, I really don't have time for my whole life story. I must complete this sculpture. Why did the nurses want to silence you? <laughs> Because I'm insane, dear. Was that unclear? No, I... I just didn't expect my pathetic staff to have the wherewithal to rise up against me. Quite surprising. How did your staff rise up against you? <laughs> That's a bit of a story. I had been seeing the Nightweaver in my sleep. For a time, I found solace confiding in my patients. That is severely unprofessional, as you might imagine, and I felt terribly guilty about it. So, after many sleepless nights, I admitted to my head nurse what I had been seeing. The look of patronizing pity in her eyes was infuriating. 
Shortly after, the nurses cornered me in my office and forced me down here. For days. I cried out for someone, anyone. But no one came. They never once checked on me. Incompetence. So you were the head doctor? I was, yes. Goodness knows what those fools had done in my absence. The patients run rampant. I shouldn't wonder. What is it you do or did with these patients? We protect and care for them, of course. The patients here are unfit to live in the world, liable to harm themselves or, or others. Despite the ineptitude of the nursing staff, our patients are treated quite well. Or so they were. Under my watch. Not a one of my nurses has even bothered to check on me or even bring me a meal. Okay. No more questions. Yes, yes. No, no, no. Why are we back outside? Is that an ammo box? Well, that gets the front door open, I guess. What is the dog? She'll find me. <laughs> Must not sleep. Or she'll find me. Can't sleep, final eaten. There's definitely something in there. It's glowing. <laughs> One can almost make out a form of a woman, beautiful and poised, yet trapped somehow, her arms pinned to her sides. Ms. Morrow had no choice in her career. She came from the kind of family that comes more, cares more about status and than progeny. She might have wanted to be a musician or an artist, but it would have meant betraying those who raised her. Heavy iron key. The kind one might expect to unlock a oaken wardrobe or a rusted gate out to an overgrown garden. Doctors at the asylum, those doctors at the asylum, now they think they know what's best for folks, but the poor Dran there don't get what the care they need. There's not so much patience as prison. There we go. Go ahead and give her the statue again. Damn, that's not it at all. Is it you again, stranger? Another. Nurse got Another! Yes! I could not remember where I had left this one. Everything seems so different now from the fall of the world. Shifted. What do you mean by the world shifted? It... It's difficult to explain. Perhaps that's why it feels so insane. The patients spoke of it first. Some great change, unseen monsters, and of course, this Night Weaver. I thought it a kind of mass hysteria. The fact that some outside these walls made the same claims only confirmed it for me. A, a, a kind of psychological infection. So what chain? I may have. She came to me in my sleep. The Night Reaper. 
Just as the patients described, I could see her in my dreams. Even as those dreams slipped away, and all I was left with was darkness and horror. I woke terrified and hollow, unable to even speak for several hours. I saw it then. The changes in the world that I could not see before. Cracks in the walls and behind the shadows. I saw the way the others would become angry or apathetic toward the patient's stories, as if they saw the same but wished to convince themselves they hadn't. Are you sure it's you that's insane? Clearly. I was insane. Are you sure you're not right? How complacent of you to assume I can be sure of anything anymore. I am... I was... a medical practitioner. I believe only what I can measure or see. I have seen so much now. I'm sure of nothing. If I am not insane, then surely the entire world must be. Very well. Yes, yes. Let's see if we can find some more no. statues. And a knife that will let get that open, I guess. No, oh, I should have done something. I should have done something. <laughs> Not tomorrow. Well, the flock doesn't do any good. I'm kind of hoping to find a. Uh, you know what? I probably should go ahead and check the office a little more thoroughly and see if there's any combination of heat. What is wrong with me? I will never guess it. Say fifty four, eighty four, and seventy nine. Let's try it. So, I think this is a clue, but they may be in reverse. Yeah. And the problem is I can't, based on me. where I'm standing and what I can see, <laughs> I can't tell if that's a four or not. I believe it's a Definitely an eight. Eight two, maybe? Maybe it's seven nine eight two. No. no. So we have some periodic uh, elements on. Someone should look for her. You don't have any candy, do you? Oh, shouldn't have asked for candy. Don't talk to me. Tell here. What is wrong with me? It is his home.
Okay, that's the basement. It's changed. Decided not to waste ammo on her. I don't want to know. I should have done something! I should have done something! <laughs> That's the second time we've seen that bottle. What's that? The more was I supposed to do, eh? <laughs> Maybe I haven't found what I need to find in order to get that thing open. So no point spinning my wheels until I'm sure I've explored everywhere I can. Yeah! Our... Okay, this carving exudes confidence yet strangeness as well. Like the artist is trying to recall emotions from a dream but barely remembered. You also notice they get more detailed as you go. The good doctor did the best she could with the life she'd been given. The asylum truly was Morrow's home, both in name and in truth. But that just makes what goes on here all sadder. Each one of these keys was handcrafted. It's hard to believe it's someone's job to create unique key and lock pairs that forever find and never recreated. Uh, if you ask me, home, a home that locks up its people is ain't no kind of home at all. If it's got a prison cell, then it's a prison. Deep down, I think the doctor knows this. Also, ammo box. A sturdy metal container filled with brim with a various type of aim variety of ammunition types for all your weapons. It's a perfect solution for those running low on ammo during the heated battle. With just a simple click, the lid pops open, revealing neatly arranged rounds that are ready to be loaded into your weapons. After the route arrived, ammunition was abundant. There was enough, wasn't enough to combat the dangers lurking around the corner. Nowadays, we scavenge every last bullet we can find, making ammo box a true lifesaver to protect survival. Well, we've definitely gotten some more access items. That's 
A Fey door. I'm gonna go see if I can unlock that door downstairs. I'm gonna give the statue to the the doctor. And if we're very, very lucky, she will give us the combination. So that's it. Still have that one door. Right here, but I think it opens from the inside. Changed. That's not it. Damn! That's not it at all. Is it you again, stranger? You have something have you... yours? Oh, Blessed. that's it! The final one! Oh, seeing them all together... They are so... alike... Yet not... Like the many aspects of the Nightweaver herself. I remember now. Of a little corny bear who slept and dreamed he saw a sight Of teeth and trails and darkened rails and unforgiving light Two shiny copper teeth removed from nine discarded cones Two, nine, seven, And seven one. yellow leaves excised from one forgotten tone So little corny bear who slept and dreamed he had a fright when he woke, he remembered not. But cold, forgotten night. I suppose it doesn't make much sense. But that is what I was trying to remember. The feel of the night we have more than the physicality of her. Thank you, stranger. What was that song you remember? Just an old tune my mother used to sing to me. I don't know what it means. But they say song is how we trick our brains into remembering what we've forgotten. And it feels like the night we... Just make sure I got that combination well, right. Now I'm self-conscious, but... If you insist, a little corny bearer slept and dreamed he saw a sight of teeth and trails and darkened veils and unforgiving light. Two shiny copper teeth removed from night. Yep. So okay. No questions. And let's Wait. unlock the door. Are you? Huh? Well, that's disconcerting. Terrifying visage, could this really be what the doctor saw in her dreams? Dr. Morrow's fate would have been the same with, even without its stitching of worlds. She ran her asylum the only way she knew, the way her own home was run. But her asylum weren't family, they would have turned on her sooner. Huh. No. I wonder if we're going to that. Definitely not that. Let's go upstairs and use that number combination. Got. One night do anything. Doctor. One see. night do anything. Yeah, that'll Barrel shotgun. Short barreled and sturdy, this gun could shred a body to pieces. The kind of weapon kept by a person who doesn't trust those around them, who expects the kind of trouble of the worst kind. It's a bad leader who can't trust those beneath her to do what's right. Fears treachery behind every smile. Even if she's sometimes right, that ain't no way to live a life. 
Huh. Not my cup of tea, but definitely worth picking up. Okay. Back to the third floor where we... Sorry, not third floor, the attic. Well, third floor. Um, or we'll go through that bay door and see what happens. It may spit us out on back on the second floor. may take us to another realm. Oh yeah, it's definitely not normal. Specifically Merlin, uh, depending on which version of the tale you're reading, Nimue is either a a fae, another sorceress, or Merlin's girlfriend. Let's stick our face in this. Pool. What could go wrong? Apparently, I got a shitload of uh, health gems. Nice. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to call it a video because we're at time. We'll continue continue exploring the Fey world when we come back. Take care.